Sure, it's a great year for us. I mean, certainly since we were here last year, goodness, it was 12 months ago, and we've had a lot of progress on a number of major files. You would have seen an announcement just a few months ago about the award of the Canadian Surface Combatant to Team Canada, which consists of uh, ourselves, partnered with Lockheed Martin, BAE Systems, and other Canadian industry members. So we're very excited to begin the delivery of that program supporting Canada's Navy and the acquisition of our new frigates. One of the other major product lines that we're announcing this uh, CANSEC and and we're very excited about, we've done a lot of development over the last five years. It's our new MAD XR system, which is a magnetic anomaly detector system used in anti-submarine warfare applications. So we've just released the first device and we're beginning our initial production run to start showing those devices around the world and make them available to all discerning customers who are operating ASW fleets, whether or not they're fixed wing, rotary wing, or UAS systems. And look into the future? Sure. It's a great and exciting time to be in Canada. Certainly we see major procurements on the horizon from Future Fighter, where we're very strongly positioned to provide both training systems integration, as well as our operational capability that we've been supporting the Canadian Air Force and the F-18 fleet for over 30 years. Uh, we're also looking, of course, at Future Air Crew Training, a really fundamental and pivotal program for us. As you would know from last year, we partnered with KF Aero to form the joint venture Skyline Canada. And Skyline is well-positioned as a Canadian incumbents who are delivering the complete training system today for supporting the Canadian Air Force and we're certainly uh, very excited to provide that going forward in the future. And a cyclone uh, helicopters arrived at the show for the first time and you're involved in that? We absolutely are, yeah. Another very exciting program for us. Uh, so we deliver the integrated information environment, which is really the life cycle management system that supports the entire cyclone fleet. We've had the opportunity to actually participate in the initial deployments of those aircraft and very excited to see those birds come rest here in CANSEC so everybody can see the new capability that's now available to the Canadian Air Force. And the future Sky Guardian program? Sure, so partnered with General Atomics and MDA as well as L3 Westcam to deliver a truly Canadian solution wrapped around a fantastic platform uh, delivered by General Atomics. Uh, we're very keen on ensuring that that's delivered to Canada and that that capability rests right here in this nation supporting Canadian troops as we go forward.